Hi all, just a quick update how it's coming along with all those dynamic shadows and uh, what is, is happening. Uh, if you look here, I added an option, now that we have the spotlight, uh, I thought that well. We could just as well use it to make some uh, volumetric light, some fake volumetric light. If you look at this, you can actually see that it's moving. I'm not sure if you can see that on the video, but the rays, the light rays are moving here. You can try to see here if we go into it. You can go into it and they will fade away. Yeah, they look pretty great, I think. so you can walk around them here and it looks great I think I'm not sure if you can see the moving of the light but um, let's try to look from here just keep it here for a while can you see the moving light? I'm not sure anyway it's moving and they are pretty easy to create these volumetric fog l fake lights. You do it directly in Game Guru with a Lua command. I will show you how to do it in a moment. So here we also have some light object. I just throw in some of Rolf's great rocks and uh, rotated them to make this cave. You can see here we have some light that is changing. I will also show you how to create that effect. And I want to show you the progress on the shadow, the flashlight shadow. You can see it here. I'm not happy with this because there are so many arrows in that when you do this. Mainly you can see all the arrows. If you rotate this way, you can now see a flower on the wall. It should not be there because it's a cone-like shadow. So at this position, I think it should be there, but not here. So there are still problems with this uh, casting shadows from this from the flashlight. But uh, when it works, it looks great. So I'm making this a VIP so I can work on it to get the camera, shadow camera perfect. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you, oh we can try to, that looks pretty good if you take the flashlight up here, through the roots. You can see the roots, and the shadows, see there is some problems there also. But it's okay, I think. Well, I will get it fixed at some point. But these uh, volumetric fake lights, uh, you can have as many of them as you wish. It will create the objects automatically, so it's just objects with a special shade on it. So they work pretty well, I think. I'm sure they will be in the next release. So let's go and check out how they are made. Let's go into Game Guru here. And you can see here we have the spotlight that casts shadows. And then I added another one up here, way up there. You can see how that is defined. And that's the one that casts the volumetric fake light. So basically, what you do is just uh, say volumetric.lua on a spotlight. 
and then it will create the object and make that great effect because you have a range of 3700 so it's a pretty large one but also it needs to come all the way up through the hole and down to the floor so and this is just a normal spotlight I'm sure it will cast shadows then we had this special you can see here if you look at this decal I attach a light to it you just use the command add light and the color of the of the light you want and the range and then you say rant and the speed of the rant and then the light will change intensity at, at, the, at that speed so it looks like there it's a real fire some other stuff you can do if you watched this one I'm not sure if you saw it but uh, it just have a some bloom effects that's a bloom orange so it will bloom orange then I just added a light to the head of it so until next time have a nice day